what it y'all's E-J-O-E business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. Cancel culture, Trevor Noah. Let's see what he has to talk about. This is on BBC News. And the thing that made me pick this was because on the little, little thumb, because I was going down, yeah, Trevor Noah, and it said African Americans aren't African. Duh. You know, but anyway. Let's see what this is. All right. But I will tell you some. This lady that's about to introduce him, she looks like she's emotional or she's an asshole. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong, you know, but it's just the face. Like, right as soon as I clicked on the video, it's just a picture of her just like looking away, just, you know, so let's just see how she is. See how. Uh, Cancel culture. Trevor Noah standing up against cancel culture and defending comedy. Yes. Let's let's see, man. Racial observations have very much formed, at least in the early stages, the backbone of your stand-up uh, comedy career. Do you now regret some of the jokes you made? Let me give you an example. You said, my mother, black South African, was saying, get me a white guy, get me a white guy. Well, my father was white Swiss. Of course, he liked chocolate. That sounds funny to me, even when you say it. That sounded really funny. Why would I regret it, that? Why would you regret that? Because some people say that's not really very funny. But the people love, everyone can say something is not really funny. This is the way some people don't but like is Indian it more than food. That? Okay, let me give you an example. We have a, a very well-established black comedian in the Britain called Lenny Henry. Yes. And he has said that he regrets doing that kind of joke where he said he would wipe his sweating brow and say, huh, I'm leaking chocolate. He oh, but that's, but, that's but, diff but that's different. Well, it's not. It's using chocolate, but isn't that it? Is, but that is different. That well, weird. The Swiss love chocolates is not a term but that is pejorative. you're referring to your mother's skin colour as chocolate. What he yes, said... Yes, because my mom is proud to let be me dark, beautiful chocolate. Yeah. That's what she's saying. Well. And this is... If you... In the book, I talk about this as well. I go... I saw people and race as chocolate. I wouldn't use that. When, no, I wouldn't when use I, that. No, no, I, I'm that colour and when I, I wouldn't up, say listen, that. Listen, when I, when I yeah. grew up... When I grew up, I believed that all people were chocolates. My mom was dark chocolates, my dad was white chocolates, and I was milk chocolates. So, no, I see so you see that as funny, but do you not realise that some people might not like that? And Lenny Henry went on to say that joke about how he was leaking chocolate. He says, I knew there had to be a better way of trying to put the message over, putting your jokes over. See, I gotta pause it right here, man. It's perfect about the cancel culture. All I just have to start with saying how she said how it wasn't funny. Duh, everybody's jokes aren't going to hit everybody. For example, I didn't think that joke was funny, you know, that he said. But hey, I still like him. He still makes me laugh. I still think he has, like, funny jokes and all that. That sweat and chocolate. Sorry, that sounds kind of corny. All right, but anyways, let's go back. All right. Let's go back. I hope I don't have to stop it, man, because this lady, she... Right. ...over without having to pick on people because of their colour or because of their race. Yes, but... Is his, view, his view is different from yours. Because he's Lenny Henry and I'm Trevor Noah. Yeah, he but he's talking, also... He's black. Yes, but he was talking about leaking chocolate, implying that his skin colour was not something that belonged to him. That is a different not, joke. He's that just is a trying to idea. say that his skin colour is chocolate. No, 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 no. You're splitting hairs here. No, but that is exactly what we should be doing. Because what you're doing is creating... I'm not sure I you're would, creating I'm not racial sure jokes. I would say No, you're creating you monoliths. Said. You're creating monoliths of jokes, and that's not fair to do. Every single joke has a context. Every single joke comes from a place. The most important thing with comedy is context. Without context, no conversation is complete. Without context, no communication can but truly be appreciated. But somebody could take that out of context. Like, yeah, then you've so said it. I'm putting it to you then. Are you not, given what Lenny Henry said, are you not guilty perhaps with some of your routines or a joke like that, uh, reinforcing prejudices and promoting stereotypes in the minds of people who may be inclined to think like that? And then they'll think, oh, Trevor Noah says, his mother's chocolate, I'm going to go around saying that to my black friends, and they might take offence. You could be reinforcing prejudice. You could be doing anything if you are not doing the opposites. How your uh, action is implied does not define what you were doing. Okay, let's look at another aspect of race. You moved just 
a few years ago to the United States. Your, your routine as a comedian um, often mimicked Africans and also African-Americans. And about African-Americans, you have said this, you are not African, but we play along. It's a very loose term, African-American, because half the time you use it for people who aren't even African. As long as you're black, they say African-American. That's true. I didn't deliver it like that. You're not doing my jokes justice. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm not Trevor. That makes sense, though. And um, I, if, he, if he said that joke before, which I understand, it's the truth. All right, and what it, it seemed like he kind of got upset or something like that. Like what the way she said it. Let's go back a little bit. This lady tripping me out though, y'all. You are not African, but we play along. It's a very loose term, African American, because half the time you use it for people who aren't even African. As long as you're black, they say African American. I didn't deliver it like that. You're not doing my jokes justice. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm not Trevor Noah and I'm not a comedian. No, 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 but you see, <laughs> that's... But, but no, I'm no, just no. asking, are, are they not African-American? Here's the, here's, here's what you're missing. What you're doing right now is the equivalent of me saying, now it's raining more than ever. Uh, I'll be here with you forever. You can always be my friend standing under my umbrella. Ella, 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 A, 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 Ella, 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 A, 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 A. I seem like a mad person right now because I'm not doing everything that was within the context of the song Umbrella by Rihanna. When you were doing comedy merely by words, I spoke it. My eyes, my voice, my connection with an audience is completely different. People can see when you are being playful. People can see when you are saying something so you're being playful about that, that you don't believe. That is what satire so you, okay, is, though. Fine. You're poking holes. So you're po yeah, so so, you're, so in in so that you don't believe what so, you say. No, 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 no. What you're what you're leaving out in that whole joke is what I was talking about was how in America, in America, Anglo-Saxons had successfully removed Americanisms from minorities. So every single group in America had an identity attached to the Americanness except white Americans. So it's African American, Asian American, Hispanic American, Latin American, uh, Native well, American. You have and Irish yet, American. No, 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 white, no, 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 no. But no, that, they that, don't that say didn't that. become on a on a box. And this is a joke for Americans. Understand that. So as an American, they understand this. All right. But, on the boxes, there is no Irish American. But, there is only white. But not looking. But there is African American and there is Asian American. But you know. And there, do you get what I'm saying? Right. So, I do so get that's what you're the saying. Whole point but the point the I'm trying to make is that there was a, a shit. This lady, bro. Oh my gosh. Irish American. That's so funny what he said. Nobody says anything like that. You're just white. Like what you want to say? I Irish American? What German American? Norwegian American? Is that what it is? Norwegian? Well, you say Norwegian American? What um, French American? Man, no. It's just plain old white. Like what he said, and that's. Oh my gosh, this lady is tripping me out, bro. I hope she's just reading from things and they want her to be like this. Because she... ...shift amongst the black American community to start calling themselves African American. They didn't want a yes. definition by default, i.e. you were not white, so therefore you were black. Yes. They wanted to have a hyphenated identity that linked them with the continent mm -hmm. of their ancestors. And therefore, when you say, oh, they're not really African, they're playing along, you cannot disconnect what you say from this debate that's really, you know, captured the imagination of the African-American, Black American yes. community. And also, the point I want to make to you is when you say that, it now feeds into a debate that's current in the United States. For example, Kwame Kweama, the Black Britain theatre director in the United States, says he has conversations with African-Americans now who are saying, we want to go back to being called Black American because we don't have anything in common with this recently arrived African Americans, uh -huh. be they Somalis, Nigerians, South Africans, such as, your, as you, you know, they have different language and so on. So what you say feeds into that debate and it sounds like you're saying there is a difference between African Americans and Black Americans. There definitely is a difference. Right. But these are differences that can be celebrated or used to separate people. Noting differences does not implicitly make it a bad thing. 
when you are noticing differences, you can note them for good reasons. It's the same reason we notice different colors or we notice different flowers. That can be a good thing. If you're using it to celebrate, you can use that same thing the same way apartheid did to separate people. When you talk about African Americans, the one conversation... Black American, African American. I heard of black Americans before, obviously. But like what she's saying, like why? I never heard it like that. Which I understand that makes sense if, you know, that's how, you know, you feel, you know. But I've never heard it like that. Whatever, man. This lady tripping me out, though, man. Look. Mm. That I was talking about was I was traveling America and I was going to a lot of universities. And I came to realize in many universities in America, the conversation you are having right now they had they had an African-American uh, student body. And very quickly they noticed a shift because they could not lump black people into a monolith. They could not lump because there were people from the Caribbean who said, we are not African-American. There were people from Africa who were like, these are not our views, we are Africans in America. So there that's is a interesting. difference. Yeah. And so what people yeah. themselves did was they said, you can't just lump us into this group. Fine, and does that difference mean that it doesn't act as a cohesive form because I'm thinking in 2014 Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie the celebrated Nigerian author she said that when she visited the US she felt that her African-American classmate was annoyed with her because she didn't share their anger and she said that she was not burdened herself by America's terrible racial history that difference does it result in the African-Americans who've arrived recently in the United States, such as yourself, acting differently or having a different psyche from the black Americans who were the descendants of slaves and have lived for many, many years, obviously, in the US? Well, I will say this. I will be careful to not uh, comment on the experience of every single person because I'm only myself and I can only experience the people that are around me. What I do know is this. In terms of our racial histories, South Africa and America are very similar. When I talk to a black American person. There are many stories that we share as human beings. There are many oppressions that we have, have experienced through our uh, selective uh, you know, uh, oppressors. Um, I think those are the things that many people can relate to across the board. So there's more to unite, even there though is, you say there, there, there are differences. There is definitely more to unite, especially yeah. when you are being oppressed as a group. Because you must remember, when you are in the US as a black African man, I can tell you now that if you have an encounter with the police, they are not going to split the hairs. They're not going to say, "Excuse me, about. Trevor, no, are you from South Africa yes, or are you from that, Detroit?" That doesn't happen. No, that fine. doesn't. Oh my gosh, bro! Black Americans, African Americans. I heard more African Americans, and that is a good joke right there. That's what he's talking about. Oh my gosh, man. What she's talking about right there and what he's getting into, that's like, that's a serious talk right there, you know? It's like, I I hear everything of what he's coming from, and it's like I understand everything. And for her side, I hear where she's coming from, but it's like she's like, in an emotional state where she's saying it negative where she tries to make stuff look bad like it was perfect what he did how he did that with the um rihanna song that umbrella and then how he was saying how like what she how what she didn't give his stuff justice because it is true like what if you what the um rihanna song if you just say umbrella you just talk it it's like what but it's Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this. Let me know how you guys feel about her. Let me know if you guys like her. Well, I hope you guys do like her. But, yeah. All right, man. We up out of here, man. That was Trevor Noah talking about cancel culture, defending comedy, uh, African-Americans on African. Duh. You know, I'm older, though, so maybe I'm sure a lot of people don't see it that way. But as far as, you know, us connecting African-Americans, connecting it, along with over here is because what well, our ancestors came from Africa and they were brought over here 
So it's like, we don't want to be detached from it. That's what I'm figuring. That's why I figure, like, that's why they do it. Uh, black Americans, that makes sense. But African American, it's like I, I identify with that more because I'm used to that. Like, I still think it's funny how she talked about, like, white people. She's like, oh, Irish. She's like, no, nigga. All right, that's how it is. Obviously, it's different up over here. Just like racism is totally different over here than in Europe. What I read and I was told. Anyways, y'all let me know how you guys feel about this, all right? Let me know how you guys feel about that. Let me know if you guys agree with her. All right, man, we up out of here.